Well, Gary, 4-1 loss to FC Balkany. What did you make of the game? I think it was uh, an exhibition and clinical finishing. So it was, you know, we, we had the best two chances in the game in the first half. I mean, and we don't quite take the chances and, and we got punished that with the two chances they had. And, and I think that was the tail of the first half. I thought we came out brilliantly. I, I thought game plan was working to perfection. 25 minutes in, 30 minutes in, we were pressing them, causing them problems. We created chances and we just didn't take them. And, and, and that's uh, football at this level. You know, you get absolutely punished not for every little mistake. And how much of a like, killer blow did the first goal feel? Because it felt like it came at a time where we were on top. Yeah, we were well on top at that stage. You know, Lee, Lee had two great chances to score. He worked so hard to get himself into them goal, goal scoring positions. It was a great breakaway, especially the second one with Dylan Sloan, you know. And, and I suppose at this level, like I said, there's the chances you have to take, and, or it just comes back to hunt you. And what do you make of the character of the team? Obviously, not only get Lee Bond's goal, but in the second half, even though the game was kind of out of sight, we kept going. Yeah, no, the boys are no quitting them. But it was, they're a classy side now. Like you know, say, they were very, very clinical there tonight. You know, I, I, other than the, I don't remember them having too many other chances on the four that he took. You know, but that's that's at this level of football. You know, that's the quality you need to have. You know, and, and that's what they showed there tonight. You know, absolutely clinical finishing. Um, we were well in that game all night. Like you know, and the four-one doesn't reflect the scoreline. But listen, we lick our wounds in that there. We turn our attention to Monday night and we, and we go again. And if we show the same character in the league this year. We, we won't be a million miles away. And going into the league season, does it feel any different going into this one as champions? I think you have that target on your back. It's been well documented and the manager's been, been very, very... Uh uh, made that point very clear to the players. You know, you're, you're going into that uh, every game and that there with that expectation. Everybody knows you're champions. Everybody wants to beat you. You know, and we have to rise above it and we have to be prepared for the challenge that comes comes our way. And obviously, Dungan and Swift's Newton Day. What are you expecting from them, especially given they've had quite a lot of change this summer? Yeah, you know, we, we bought ones in, they've bought a lot of ones in. Rodney going back there as well, always looks to try and play football the right way with Don Gannon. They're a very, very good football side and they'll come seeing us as a as an opportunity for going and, and have a go, you know, because, you know, they'll be expected Lauren to get a result against, against Don Gannon. But every game, every season starts afresh now that everybody's got out and to try and put a, put a good run of results together, especially early doors and put points on the board. And, and that's what we'll aim to do on Monday night. And lastly, still a few weeks left of the transfer window. Are you expecting much business in all right? Yeah, yeah, but I still think that there's still a few to come in. So there is, like, uh, you know, the manager made that clear there uh, at the start of the week, and that, that we still have maybe two or three to come in the door. So it is. So that's always exciting. It's always good to getting in new players and the new challenges, and that lays the challenge down for the players already in the squad to, to, to retain their position in the club. Great, thank you.